Republic is one of the most popular online trading platforms in Europe, available in Germany and several other European countries such as Austria, Belgium, France, Spain and Italy. With the recent announcement of the European Central Bank raising interest rates up to a total of 4%, Trade Republic has also started offering that exact amount of interest on their own accounts. This means you could also easily earn that 4% on your own cash holdings within your potential Trade Republic's accounts. When that 4% interest on Trade Republic cash was announced, it led to an absolutely massive influx of potential new users to Trade Republic. I myself was one of these people. Around the same time, Trade Republic also completely revamped their mobile app, something that was met with a bit of controversy, but for new potential customers like you and I, who never even experienced what the old app was like, I don't think that this is a big issue at all. As a new customer, I have to say I have absolutely no complaints at all. So let's go ahead and dive into that app right now. So here we are in the fancy new and nice Trade Republic app. So to start out, I think it's best to start with the two main tabs of the app. This is the wealth tab and the other would be this cash tab. Both display the amount of money that you have available within your account. Starting off with the cash tab, here we have, I have 3,600 euros, give or take, that is currently sitting as free liquid cash on my account. This is the amount of money that I am currently earning my 4% on. And we can see currently I've earned in the last month, or I guess in the month of November, a total of 12 euros in interest. So on this tab, you will see a list of previous transactions. If we go in here, we can see some of my own previous purchases was in the last month. We can see my main ETF that I've bought as well as some other stocks. And this will basically be a chronological sort of transaction history of what you have purchased in the past month. Pretty self-explanatory. As we scroll down, you see the benefits tab. In this case, this outlines the 4% interest that you will be earning in your account. So as we can see, as of so far, I've earned a total of 20 euros uh, in interest. And I can scroll down and we can see the pending payout interest will be accumulated and of course it will be paid out at the end of the month and that is pretty much it for the cash tab you can click on both of these tabs up here and that will of course sort by the information for each and every month that you've been active on the platform you can tap on these individual bubbles as well and you get a more in-depth view of the data that is available both for the blue and the green tabs, of course, being the income and the money that's going out of the account as well. And we can see I've actually not cashed out any of my money so far. So that's basically it for the cash tab. It's pretty simple. Now here's the wealth tab. The wealth tab is where the magic happens. As we can see, we can see this nice, beautiful and green graph of my currently potential money that I have made today. So I'm actually up about nine euros. So this works as a very typical graph that you might see on every other site that tracks your potential earnings or where they stand. And you can go ahead and sort by one uh, week, month, year, and of course max being when you first started your account and when you first started investing on Trade Republic. For me, that was a couple of months ago. So if I put max, you'll see that it only goes until October. So. With that being said, I typically just keep it on the one day because I like to check daily how uh, my investments are doing. With that being said, you can tap on the total amount here and you can switch between the total amount of earnings, potential earnings that is of course, unrealized, <laughs> um, in percentage and also in actual absolute cash value. So I like to see the money, so I keep it on the money. So as we scroll down, Oh, something else to address actually is you can hover over this and you can see in 10 minute intervals on the most in-depth scale how your earnings are doing of course this is probably more relevant if you look at something like a monthly view and you can see on the daily how your investments have been doing so that is that for that so here we go to the total investments 
um, screen, we can see I have a total of three ETFs and two stocks in my portfolio currently. And these will be organized by, I believe, the entire total investments that you have in your account by size. So we can see my FTSE All World ETF is currently the majority of my investment, hence that's at the top. This view, you can also switch by tapping on Since Buy. You can switch to show in various metrics. So we can see the daily relative, we're up 0.17%. And we can see daily absolute, of course, that's 18 euros. And we can go and go back to since daily absolute, which is my preferred view. Of course, there's many ways that you could potentially view your things, but at the end of the day, that is something for you to decide and what type of view you would like to have. So now we go down to the orders and insights tab. In there, we see a breakdown of our positions and our total assets. For me, we can see that my investments on Trade Republic are basically entirely ETFs and single stocks. And yeah, I have no crypto derivatives, uh, derivatives rather, or bonds currently. And we can switch over to the positions tab where we can see that what exactly is making up our positions. We can see 90% of my currently investment is the FTSE All World and then the MSCI World Small Cap as well as the Emerging Markets and some two single stocks that I bought mostly for fun right now. And that is the position analytics screen. Pretty simple. Down here, you also have the options to add a savings plan. If you wanted to, you could search up a stock, ATF or crypto and initiate a savings plan where you would at a regular basis basically invest your money that is on your cash account into whatever savings you decide to make. Under that is also an order screen, in which case basically you can launch some buy orders as well. Going down is the following screen. This is actually something that I find to be probably the most useful feature at a single view. I have several sort of stocks or assets that I like to view how they're going throughout the day, throughout the week. And basically here's a list of stocks and single stocks as well as other investments that you have listed on your favorites list and they will be tracked continuously. So now we go down to both the browse feature and this is basically the browsing slash search tool um, which you will use to find whatever ETFs or stocks that you might be interested in and purchasing. So up here we can see top movers and that's basically something like trending, I suppose you could call it, stocks. And here's basically what's popping right now, as well as some trending down here. And we can see Apple's up 0.17% as they are. And down here are some common popular stocks as well, as well as some core ETFs, derivatives, bonds, and crypto, which are of course all the assets that you could potentially um, deal with on this app. Something around here that might be interesting for you as well is if you're, let's say, not the type of person to be interested in searching out single stocks, there is the option of trending topics as well. And in here, we have some popular topics that where if you're not, let's go in, let's see, let's uh, have a look at basically mobility, why not? And as we go into mobility, we can see this is a list of sort of stocks or available companies that have to do with the topic of mobility. This is quite useful because if you're not, if you're interested in sort of investing into the idea of mobility, it gives you a list of companies associated with that topic and you do not have to personally search them out. So let's say I wanted to invest in all of these companies. I could both set up a savings plan to invest at regular intervals, or I can do buy now for a single investment on the topic as well. Furthermore, let's say I was interested in Subaru, right? I can tap on Subaru by itself and invest or buy into Subaru specifically and not just the entire topic of mobility. And that I think is something that depending on the type of investor you are, if you have more of a, let's say, in specific, not surface level is I think the wrong word, but if you're not the type of person to go entirely in depth, super minutely into all possible investments you could make and would rather have a sort of broad um, spread of investment, this is something that could be useful for you. Now let's talk about 
what you guys will most likely be using it for as if you are an investor much like myself who is probably trying to invest their money as broadly and safely as possible you might be looking at something like the core msti world with that being said this is the view of the core msti world this is what you will see when you search up both a stock and the etf within trade republic you will see that graph of daily performance weekly monthly whatever view you choose and underneath of that you have a little description of what exactly that stock etf or company is about and underneath that you see some of the key information things like share price fund size what index they belong to how many holdings they have and you can swipe through and see greater detailed information that might be relevant to you and we can actually scroll quite a few screens to the left and right this is actually something I'm, I'm not quite a fan of to be honest i feel like a lot of this is not as visible as it should be and i don't like having to swipe right four times to see things like the ticker symbol um, if i'm trying to look at that at a glance underneath that however you can set a price alert basically you'll get a notification once the price reaches a certain level whatever that price you can set at whatever you would like it to be underneath we see some general product info we see key things like the cost we can see it's an accumulating etf and the currency is us dollars inside the fund we see a quick breakdown of the top five positions in this etf being apple microsoft amazon nvidia and alphabet underneath you can see what industries do these belong to primarily it's made up of course of internet and software and you can see what countries and we see it is mostly us centric now underneath that we again have the same two options that come to saving and buying you can set up your own sort of investment plan in which case a regular savings investment put on regular intervals a savings plan or you can buy right now in whatever money you have available on your cash account all right the final thing i think we need to address here is the transfer button and that's basically how you add money to your account in this case it would be the cash account in which you're earning your interest on if you press add you can basically transfer money towards your account and you have the option of credit card apple pay as well as bank transfer for doing that and of course the option to transfer out which will only send back to the one bank which you transfer your money from so it's not as flexible um, as to where you can send your money out but of course you can divert your money from your other bank to wherever else you would like it to be sent and there we go that was our quick overview of the new and updated trade republic app i hope my overview might have given you the confidence to start up your own account and begin your own investment journey if you enjoyed this video and enjoy this type of content consider subscribing or watching some of the other related videos that i'll attach here with that being said thanks for watching